The past couple of days I had problems giving my metahuman custom clothes, so I thought that I share my findings and experiences using Unreal Engine 5. This process works in Unreal Engine 4.27 as well, and I'm using Blender 3.0 and up. The workflow works for 3.1 as well, and Marvelous Designer. I'm not going to get into details on how to create clothes in Marvelous Designer. This is just a short overview on what you need to do if you want to create something like this. So I'm already assuming that you created your metahuman character. It is advantageous to know what kind of clothes you want to give him. If you want to give him a hoodie, pants or whatever. In my case, it's a robe, so I'm going to start with just the naked body. But in other cases, you can start with a hoodie or, or the shirt or whatever. Whatever is the closest to what you want to give him. It's important later on. So how do we get this FBX out of here? You open up his blueprint, you go to his body, you look for it in the asset browser. There you go, right click on it and you say asset actions, export, and then you just export it to your custom destination. To make it easier to visualize for myself, I also tend to export the face, asset action, export. Just give it a place where you can find it as well. Make sure you turn off a uh, level of detail uh, collision because that's just the, the LODs and everything. You don't need that and hit export. Open up Blender or the tool you, of your choice. File, import, FBX. Uh, I'm getting my face mesh. So I got the face and import FBX. Male, tall, underweight, body preview. There you go. I am going to, I'm going to isolate it. Click on here, Alt P, clear parent, keep transformation. The same I'm going to do with the face, face mesh, select it, Alt P, clear and keep transformation and just delete the rest. There you go, I'm gonna join it together, select both of them, Control J, and you got your rough estimation of what your character is going to look like. File, export, FBX, selected objects only, and give it, you know, I'm calling it virtual Jesus, just export it to where you can find it. Open up Marvelous Designer, file, import add, FBX, look for what you need. For me, VG is Nakeda. Uh, set this to centimeters and 100%. That should be all right. Okay. And you got your character in here. For quick preview, just give him give him a shirt. Maybe. Again, this is not a tutorial on how to get your clothes, uh, how to create clothes in Marvelous Designer. It's just a preview to, to see how it works. All right, there you go. Control F and we compute it again. We gave him a shirt. Perfect. We can now export it. Just a quick tip if you want to make his sleeves long or whatever, just click here, edit, edit pattern, select those patterns, drag it along. It will uh, cal calculate automatically. You know, you can play around. You get a 30 day free trial uh, on Marvelous Designer. That's what I'm using right now because I haven't decided if I want to actually buy it or not. Get it together, stretch it like that. That looks somewhat interesting to me. However, I'm gonna go with this one that I showed you in the preview. It's really just these couple of patterns suits together and, and the robe thrown over the character. File, export, FBX, go whatever you need, one, two, three. Uh, go to export all, thick. So you give him a, th a thickness. And if you need it, your UV maps or something, we're, not, we're gonna skip it for now. Hit OK and export. Go back in Blender, File, Import, FBX, and now import import your body. So not, not the, the, the joint mesh, but that what you exported. In, this, in my case, it was the tall underweight body. But if you exported something with a, with a shirt on it, here in torso, there's nothing because mine is naked, but you know, export this one where it's, there's a shirt, there's a hoodie, there's a jacket, there's anything, export this one and import exactly this FBX into, into Blender. So in my case, it is just 
the tall preview body. Because now we're gonna weight paint the cloth to our body itself. File, import, FBX, get the clothes that you exported from Marvelous Designer, day two experts, cloth version three. Perfect. Now select your cloth only, modify as amateur and give it the root. Now the cloth has the same amateur root as your preview mesh. Shift click, drag it under root. Now it's parented. Select shift click on root. Now you got you have selected everything. Make sure that your clothes is marked in yellow, not in orange, but in yellow. So it's the active object. Weight paint up here, weights, transfer weights. Go down here to the extra menu by name. It's way more accurate uh, like that. And again, this is not a tutorial on how to weight paint and how to set the correct weights. But now you can see that well, let's let's that's the, the clavicle for the clavicle for instance what each bone kind of deforms right so if if he moves his left clavicle everything that is shown here will be deformed you can change that in uh, setting the weight to zero for instance i don't want him to use this portion down here when he stretches his clavicle that doesn't make sense and you can paint over it or go to weight number one and i'm saying oh yeah this has to be absolutely moved when he when he moves his clavicle. You, you get the point. But as I said, this is just a quick overview. So we have the weights assigned in here. This is fine. We're gonna delete the body underneath, except for if you need it. But in my case, I don't need it. So I'm gonna delete, oh, I'm going to, up. I'm going to object mode. I'm deleting the body underneath. So I still have the skeleton. My clothes is still weight painted. Still have the vertex groups, file, export fbx again wherever you need it now amateur shift click mesh we go here we say face apply modifiers is gone amateur this is important add leaf bones away export fbx somewhere where you can find it back to unreal engine i'm making a new folder uh, import clothes import clothes Right click, import game to import object to game engine, virtual Jesus, day two exports, and I named it VGS cloth version. I named it VGS cloth version two. Import, select base, meta human base skeleton, whatever your character uses as a base skeleton. Uh, I, for my, do not want to create any materials, but it can depend on you. Import all. It is important that you use the skeleton that this, yes, that your character uses. How can you find out? You go to, uh, edit blueprint, viewboard, your, your body, click on here and click on the skeleton icon up here. And then you can see what kind of, what kind of skeleton he uses, maybe human based skeleton, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's how you find out. So, all right, we got our uh, cloth in here. We can save it if you want to. There you go, now it's saved. Uh, again, we go on uh, Blueprint JBoy, and now, depending on what you want to do, if you change the body itself, but if you just have clothes, for instance, like a jacket, or in my my case, the robe, uh, a jacket, the jeans would go on legs, the shoes would go on feet and everything, but the torso, we're going on torso, and we're just drag and dropping our skeleton mesh in here and boom since i uh, already assigned the <laughs> the materials to test it out if the wor workflow works it is done and ready of course there is going to be a lot of clothes stretching and everything but everything down the pipeline that we just discussed is just more time intensive setting the weights properly setting the materials properly but as i said this is just a quick overview on how to get your clothes into into meta onto your meta human character in unreal Hope it helped.